So for today's video I am going to be testing something that I've been wanting to try for the longest time and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. Um, yeah, I think just drop it on the floor, why don't you? I have been wanting to try this for the longest time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be testing this today and just showing you my first impressions of how it is. So let's just get to it. The shade that I got was Fair One, so the lightest shade, just because I usually just powder under my eyes and I am actually fairly fair so I thought the lightest shade was going to be the best. Um, I don't think it is completely translucent, it does have a little bit of colour to it. Uh, so it comes in this lovely box here. I actually ordered mine through ASOS because that way you can use student discount. However, if you've watched my last video, video you will know that the first one I ordered came and just basically completely smashed. But thank goodness this one came and it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I've got this lovely rose gold um, like kind of case to it and then inside oh thank goodness it's not broken um so it's got a lovely mirror and then that is the compact there so yeah it does have a tiny bit of color to it but it is nice and light so i am going to apply this to my under eye area usually where i powder the rest of my face i don't tend to powder just because i find that i don't actually need it and i've got normal to dry skin so i don't want to dry my face out too much however i do like a lot of powder under my eyes to make sure my mascara doesn't run and i tend to find that is where i need it most so i'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see how it applies so, like i said this is a total first impressions um i have no idea how this is going to be i really hope that it's good because it was 34 pounds so it is quite expensive for a powder but i've heard such good things about it so fingers crossed i am going to do a tiny swatch just to see oh wow so that is very smooth in texture like really like feels so so soft so i guess the next thing to do is just start applying it i am going to take this new fluffy brush so i've got a fair bit there on my brush and let's just try it so i'm gonna pop some under my eyes okay so first impressions goes on very smoothly i feel like that has really, like, compared to my other eye, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. But compared to my other eye, I'm looking in the mirror, it has really smoothed out that concealer I put on under my eyes. So I don't know if you will be able to tell it on camera or not, but so this is the eye I've just put the powder on, and this is the one without. And it's just given a lovely, smooth finish. Um, like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I feel like that's a very good start bigger mirror so I can see properly. I'm going to grab a little bit more on my brush to do my other eye. Wow, okay. So thank goodness. I don't think this powder is going to disappoint. So far, I mean, you can see how much or how little I applied, but that has just given a lovely finish to the skin. Like, under my eyes, looks so smooth. Um, Yeah, like, I feel like that is amazing, and I know it's only a powder, but compared to my usual powder that I use, I use the um, Translucent Loose Powder by Ramel. I mean, wow. This is good so far which is you know it's living up to its expectations what i am going to do now i know i said i usually don't powder um the rest of my face but just to test this a little bit more i am going to just powder down here on my chin because sometimes i find my makeup and concealer rubs off there so i'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush and just powder down here It's got like, when you put it on the brush, it is so fine um, and really, really smooth. Oh my God. I feel like 
literally like I said I feel like this is really hard to film because powder doesn't really show up on camera but trust me I have just put the littlest amount on my chin and I feel like it is just brought all of my makeup together and is really like smoothed out the way that my makeup was looking before if that makes sense oh my god that is a very quick close-up of obviously the powder under my eyes and how my makeup is now looking on my chin I feel like it is just totally smoothed everything out so wow I am so happy that I am pleased with this because it really just has brought all my makeup together and like totally giving me a smooth look finish which I feel like this is known for doing and I mean it is called airbrush flawless filter and it does almost give your skin yeah that airbrush look it literally draws all your makeup together and just totally smooths it I am super happy with this um, so far. I mean, obviously I'm gonna carry on using it and I will probably use it in some more videos um, that you will see me like kind of trying it out and testing it even more so I can report back if maybe it rubs off through the day or something like that. But first impressions so far, oh my goodness. This has lived up to all ex expectations that I've heard other people saying about it. And I just can't believe how good my skin kind of looks with it on um i find sometimes obviously powders it can be slightly drying um and make your makeup look maybe clumpy and just not sit right on the skin but oh my goodness this is going to be my new favorite um definitely to use and carry on using so guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching i know that is quite short as i was only obviously testing this one product but Oh my goodness I don't think I've ever used a powder that has made my skin look as flawless as what this does and I'm so glad um, that I like it because it is an expensive buy however if you were looking for a nice new powder and maybe want to treat yourself I don't think you'd be disappointed with this and it really makes me want to try the new bronzers that she's brought out or any of the other Charlotte Tilbury products because they just look amazing and like I said this one has definitely lived up to everything I heard about it. So thank you guys for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it but I will see you in the next one bye.